Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Question Mark and this is an early look at Otherland. This is a action MMO currently in development. It is released on Steam Early Access. I have actually had this for almost a month now. And I've played it, I've played a bit of it. Uh, apparently when they finally released it, my character was wiped, I guess. They did a server wipe for anyone who had the pre-early access build. I haven't seen any information on that, but I've checked through the various servers and my character's not there. Not that I was particularly far. The patch notes are completely useless. Uh, you may have heard about this from various other sources by now. I think Kotaku or uh, maybe PC Gamer, I can't remember which one it was, did a, a little, little article about it saying, yeah, it's not that great right now. <laughs> And that is true, it is littered with bugs. This was supposed to be released, oh, I think two years ago is when it was originally supposed to be released as a free to play game. It has been picked up by another development team, which is making it a, uh, I guess it's a uh, buy to play is what that's considered now. You pay for it and then you play it, kind of like Guild Wars or I guess, well, Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2. You buy it and then you play it. There's a there's in-game real money currency, which currently is, well, the last time I played it, you couldn't buy. So let's take a quick look at the settings. Not a whole lot here. You've got audio sliders. Uh, the last time I tried these, they didn't work. So let's, let's see if these work. Oh, they work now, beautiful. So let's do that. Video options, not a whole lot right now. I'm assuming they're going to be fleshing these out as they go. But I should point out they do have the full screen windowed mode, which is quite nice. I really like that for MMOs. Um, not necessarily other games, but MMOs I find it that I tab out a lot because you've got the internet to search for various things. Like for Guild Wars 2, I would always go to the interwebs for jumping puzzles to find their location and you know when I eventually fail and get pissed off with it I find the solution to them. So controls not a whole lot here like there's, there's let's be honest there's nothing here there's there's absolutely nothing here there's a checkbox for keyboard controls <laughs> I don't know why I don't I don't know but let's hop in here and we're gonna go through this is probably gonna be two videos uh, the character creation process is actually pretty intense and it's it's fairly interesting like obviously you have you know your character creator um, your character creator typical thing but what you do here is very very little of the actual creation so let's hit play Everything is done in game. Like you're not sent on another, it's not a bunch of menus that you adjust your character with. All right, so here we are. We are now plugged into the matrix. Now this is based on a book that I have not read. So I don't really know anything. So let's, let's talk to sellers and you, oh, you're awake. I'm sorry I had to call you so abruptly, but I desperately need your help. All right. Maybe you are a little disoriented. Just a little. My methods to bring you here were crude and not without side effects. Maybe even some memory loss. Right. I can see you're struggling to put a name to my face. You deserve to know why you're here, and I have some things to show you. And he's just wiped. What did he just do with his head? He's just like, Wah. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time. Anyway, that's just a weird quirk. I am Sellers. Don't worry, I'm your friend. Prove it, dude. Prove it. Please meet me at the top of the stairs. All right. So. Movement and everything is pretty stock ass standard. There is no like you don't hold right click to move. It is just move. Animations are pretty good. Like the last time I played, some of them could use a little work, but not nothing drastic. You also notice that you're kind of tronish. Now apparently this has some bearing on like this has something to do with 
uh, other world. I started reading the first book on it, and I don't see anything like this. But I'm, I'm in. I just got through. I think the first chapter, which is fucking long as hell. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the book. We're here to talk about the game. Hmm. Your appearance looks a little basic. Let's see. What can I do to help? So this is the character creator, and it's all intermingled with the tutorial, which I think is really actually quite cool. Use the various metamorphs. So, I will create a metamorph for you to alter your appearance. Interact with the pedestal. Once you're done, come back and talk later. Okay, so there's our metamorphosis machine, which gives us our ability to alter our appearance. Not a whole lot here right now, so this is all just basic crud. Now, what I need to mention is the first character I made was female, because that's what I do. And I chose female. I did the thing. I just I don't even know what I picked. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did the thing. Not a whole lot of customization you can do here. I think I chose that pattern. Nope, that, that pattern's terrible. Maybe that one, I don't know. Anyway. So I did the thing, and then as soon as I got into the actual game, I think it may have been when I logged off, I became, my character became male. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I couldn't change her back. So she had a female name with a male character. It was a little weird. Happy with your appearance? Sure, why not? It's simple to use. There are limitless ways of changing your appearance in the way you want. Not in that one there wasn't. But there, there's more. But they cost money. So it's a customization fee. But again, I have no idea how, how to get the real currency. I tried, but no idea. Ah, yes. You're a fine-looking simuloid. Let me check how your interaction peripherals are working. It's very weird because it's you are someone in a computer that is in a computer game. It, it's like take someone in the Matrix and oh oh perfect. Um, crap, <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Oh, uh, imagine if Sword Art Online the characters that went into the game were actually in the matrix <laughs> so yeah it's it's a little fucked up that's what i've gotten from it anyway come back once you've opened them all okay oh can i open more than one this time once you've opened them all no you're still just giving me one all right interacting with the container so this is kind of teaching you some things although the container should disappear i feel but it, it's kind of cool. Like you've got some pretty decent things. I'm just go, I'm not reading all this stuff out loud. I'm just gonna go through it. it. It's pretty cool. So let's travel through this gate into wherever the hell we're going. I can't remember the name of the place. I'm not even sure if this had a name. Actually, no, it did. So you'll notice that in the upper left corner. There's that frame rate. That frame rate is wrong compared to the frame rate that I'm getting with my frame rate counter. I'm I'm getting 62 frames per second. Stable. It's, it is not fluctuating at all. So, I don't know what that frame rate is, but it is not the frame rate that is being drawn to the screen. It's, it's a, little, a little misleading. So, hello again. I see you've managed to log into Otherland without any issues. That is really good. Some of the writing's a little weird. So this is the destruction of Otherland. That's part of the story and I'm just skipping it. So we need to do our classes. You'll see in the right hand corner, there's kind of this little compass thing that points us in the direction of where we need to go. So you need to experiment with each of the classes, then meet sellers over there. So it's pointing towards where Sellers is. This is actually kind of cool. Like, you can see all of these people being blasted away. It's pretty cool. It's like the destruction. 
So let's hop over here. There are some weird things that happen with this. Like, let's let's hop into the Energizer. I don't understand the Energizer. I'm wondering if they, nope, they didn't fix this. <laughs> Frame rate just vomits all over the place. There we go. While it's loading. Just, just loading that new character model. It's, it's really weird. And it, it'll do that with every single one of them. But not when you, like, fall. Or not when you leave. When you leave, you're fine. Just when you come in. So, Energizer here seems to be... Well, it's a support class. So, what I got here is... I'm actually healing this clone. So, I can heal the clone. I have other abilities that can do, like mass healing but you're rooted you're rooted to the ground when you're doing something which is kind of annoying they seem to have fixed the targeting targeting was a a fairly big issue for me and then of course I can use the same weapon to damage this guy and it really doesn't do that good of damage. <laughs> Except now he's just kind of sliding towards me. And twitching out. So th this is kind of the problem with this game. Alright, there we go. Th this was a targeting issue. Like, I was pointing at him. And it targeted the clone. Which is a little strange. Like... It is definitely not something you want to ever see. And let's see. Two. Nope. Three. Three? Three apparently does nothing. Four. I don't know what that did. So E is... There we go. So that does like a, an AoE. Q did a multi. So, like, targeting is an issue. It really is. And this is common throughout all of them. But let's, let's, let's leave here. Oh, this is another weird thing. When you hit shift, you just stop. <laughs> you just plant in spot. It's like, eh, you don't need to move, right? But if you're... Uh, what was it? There was something else. Uh, I can't remember all the quirks, but there was a lot of little quirks. All right, so here we go. I believe this was this is the warrior, so I get a big fucking weapon. You'll also notice that you get this weird beeping. That doesn't matter what you're doing. Like, <laughs> like, why? There's a lot of annoying noises here. And I don't know why, like... You'll, you'll notice that it happens, like, this is mouse down. Oh, it's apparent, there we go. <laughs> and apparently it's not happening right now. <laughs> there we go. So, mouse down, mouse up. And it, it, it's not consistent. And if you hold down the mouse button... Oh, he's doing it now, beautiful. When I first played this, when you held down the mouse button, he wouldn't continue attacking. It was, it was, uh, let's just call it awkward. Alright, let's, Q, there we go. And E, there we go. So, in this particular instance, we are immortal, and we can move, so that's good. There is a dodge, I think. Is it just not animated right now? Nope. Pretty sure there was a dodge. So, again, combat is pretty damn simple. There, there's really nothing to it. It's, it's kind of dull. <laughs> you just, you just beat the shit out of them until they're dead and whatever. So, I'm just, I'm done with this. <laughs> I, I'm done with the warrior. We're going to show the archer. Uh, that's the assassin. Let's do the assassin. 
Wasn't a big fan of the assassin. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. There we go. So, not... This just feels like a pathetically slow and weak assassin. Like, he's only attacking with one. He's attacking very slow and not doing a particularly good job of things. There's no, like, mobility here. Like, uh, alright. We'll just... Q. Like, that's my Q special ability. That's the best one he's got, which is still kind of pathetic. And then you get this, where he just won't attack. <laughs> hey, he's just really slow. He's really slow and really obnoxious. And then we'll go to the one that I used, which was the Marksman. This is the one that I felt was, like, the best of the bunch. And again, we'll choke for a minute. And there we have it. We are now a marksman. So, we shoot things. Pretty weak, but you can move, unlike the Energizer. You've got full mobility. So if you're up against, you know, melee characters, the chances of them actually hitting you is slim to none. That guy just decided to lose aggro on me for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So, we got a targeted shot. And let's do our E. There we go. <laughs> so, reasonable special abilities. Nothing too great, but reasonable. This just seems like the better of the classes. Now, obviously, these are high level, what you're looking at here. This is like endgame equipment. But all in all, it looks really cool. I personally don't like the assassin. The warrior, I've, I've never really been one for up close and personal combat. Preferred to have range. Um... The Energizer is, seems like a cool idea, but I feel it needs more. Maybe I just don't understand it enough. The Assassin, it just seems slow. Just That's pretty much what it is. Just slow and methodical. It might as well be a big lumbering warrior. Uh, it just doesn't feel, doesn't feel right. And the Marksman feels like a Marksman. That's really what that is. So that's, that's what I pick. Pretty much, well... The one time I played it, <laughs> that, was, that was the one I picked. So now we're here and we get to pick which one we want. So you can do assassin, your marksman, you can be a warrior, which conveniently is a bull, or you can be an energizer. I'm actually going to pick energizer. Let's see if we can learn this class a little bit more. And of course, <laughs> it's going to tank for a bit. I'm not... Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that it tanks. Like, it's, it, I'm just, I find it funny that it's tanking every single time. All right, so let's talk to sellers here. So, have you tried out the classes? Good to see these tubes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, now choose your class. I, I did that. I did it. I, I, I picked it. Are we going to tank again? Because that would be hilarious. Nope. There we go. Talk with sellers. And we are good. Now let's get moving. Before that, I would like to let you know that and shit happens. So this is another minor complaint I have that the, the text boxes actually move with the screen. Not a fan of that personally. Especially since it makes it really hard to read what they say. <laughs> Alright, so. Now, we must enter another portal. There are a lot of portals. Um, don't walk through it, dude. A lot of portals. This is cool, this portal transition. You get to do these a lot once you get to like the main hub town. There's plenty of these around. It's a pretty cool loading screen, but it's also 
a pretty cool effect. So now we're in the throne room. So this this is the end of the tutorial and the end of the initial character customization. It's that, you know, final sort of boss fight thing. So let's destroy the obelisk. There is literally nothing that will... Oh, oh, these guys. Where'd these guys come from? All right, they weren't here the last time. At least I don't remember them. Okay, so there are things that are going to come out and hurt you. I'm assuming that if there were more people playing, there would be more people here to do this event. That's my assumption. It could be that it's localized, but, you know, there's really no one ever playing. I have never seen another player in the game. And now we destroy this. So, yeah, pretty... Pretty dull. Pretty boring. It's kind of a ho hum hum drum. <laughs> ho hum hum drum. But it is not the worst thing in the world. Like, and again, this is early access, so you kind of want to give it a little bit of leeway, I guess. But not much. Like, they, they pretty much picked this up from the dead and they changed it from a free-to-play to a buy-to-play. So they're still working on it. They seem like they want to get this thing up and running and being something to actually complement the books. It's not necessarily something that is going to coincide with the books that well, but it's mostly taking the universe that the books formed and using it. So, kind of like, I guess, uh, Shadow of Mordor. It's, it's not really canon in any way, shape, or form, but it's set in that universe. You could also argue The Hobbit. <laughs> like, not, not, not the actual book, the, 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 the movie trilogy. Yeah, that was a joke. Uh, so several years later, after that event, <laughs> something. I'm assuming that this will get fleshed out, but I have no idea why. I don't know why this is several years later. And there was just a little flash or loading screen or something. No clue. None whatsoever. So at this point, I'm just going to leave this here and... After this, the character creation and everything is officially done. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will be doing another video on this. I'm not sure when um, or where I'm going to take it off from, but it will be more related on the combat and the actual game itself. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.